Digging deeper now into those FEMA barges we first told you about yesterday. The FEMA barges, which will be used for temporary housing, they will be arriving in two days, according to Port Arthur Mayor Derek Freeman. It will be docked at the Port of Port Arthur. Our Jackie Massey joins us in studio with details on how this will work and who will be housed on these barges. Jackie. Kevin and Erica, the barges will be for Port Arthur residents who were evacuated to San Antonio and Dallas. People currently living in shelters will be transferred over there as well, according to County Judge Jeff Brannick. To live from shelter to shelter, this is hard enough. But at this moment, right now, now you're talking about putting me on a barge. Gwendolyn Donahue is not happy with the temporary housing coming to Port Arthur. She was rescued from her home during Harvey and is currently staying at the Red Cross shelter at the Thomas Jefferson Middle School. The next place she lives could look like this. It's a barge and FEMA is providing two of these that will hold about 300 people each on the port of Port Arthur. But I'll say again, I'm not a fish, I'm not a crab, I'm not a shrimp, because I don't know nothing about being on a boat. Mayor Freeman says the barges are expected to arrive in two days, but County Judge Jeff Brannick says other options are being looked at as well. FEMA and the Texas Division of Emergency Management will give options like mobile homes, trailers, and shelters. Other displaced residents like Patricia Mooney say they would not mind staying on a barge. Nice place, you know, to regroup, you know, get yourself together, you know, give it a try. Well, no less you try. Mayor Freeman says three meals a day will be offered at the barges along with laundry and satellite TV. Officials are also looking into separating the men and women inside and will also have security in place. And I asked Judge Brannick if there is a screening process to prevent sex offenders or criminals from coming onto the barge, and he assured me that security measures are in place and there will be a vetting process to protect the residents. In the studio, Jackie Massey, 12 News. Thank you, Jeff. First off of all, praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the bonus of the apostles and elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity, and the women and children who follow. So this uh, lesson, I was uh, actually doing research for another lesson. I came across this. So, you know, Lord, as well, get that lesson up and get that done uh, as well. But uh, I just wanted to go in on this, which is uh, the SEMA barges. So, as you see in the in the video, you know, Esau's coming up with more and more devices to, to lock you jakes up. And if you're smart, you're not going to get on them. It's just not the logical thing to do. So, we're going to go to the scriptures and uh, let, let them do the talking. This is Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. For none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and that ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, of course, you know what I'm saying, us, the men of this truth, we know that, you know, some of us are going to be put into these, these, uh, FEMA camps, whether it be on the bars, whether it be on land, whether... It be in a Walmart or wherever you know, they decide to to put up these places, man. But at the end of the day, we gotta have faith. You gotta have faith that Yahabashim Yashai is gonna deliver you out of this situation. Because the two thirds, the heathen, you know what I'm saying? All of them, they're they're gonna go through this and they're gonna uh they're gonna die. Just plain to, to say it, they're gonna die one way or another. Whether they get killed in a FEMA camp, whether they take the chip and get uh, burnt up in the missiles, whether they get tortured, whether they starve to death, it doesn't matter. One way or another, they're going to die. So, us being in this truth, we have to know, first off, by knowing that, you know what I'm saying, that's one of the reasons we persuade men, but knowing that, that's got to be in our mind. To strengthen us to, to keep fighting. Because if you don't fight for the truth. You're going to die. You're going to die. It's just. There's no other way to say it. And you know. Like I said. This is just another. Uh, angle that, that they're coming at us with. So this is First Peter chapter 5 verse 8. It says be sober. Be vigilant. 
because your adversary the devil is a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. This is how he's seeking whom he may devour. He got Slakia. He got, you know, these different uh FEMA camps and you know, we know that he has uh you know the the, the, the coffins. You know, we know that he's playing in martial law. We know all this. You know, Puerto Rico, we know that it's a dry run. All that, that so-called aid that's going down to Puerto Rico and nobody's got it. Why? Because they want to see how people react in a crisis situation where there's nothing. So why not, you know, that's, why not do it in your own backyard pretty much and see the, the consequences. And people here in America, they don't give a fuck about Puerto Rico. They still think it's another country, but Puerto Rico is actually a part of uh, the United States. Those are United States citizens down here that are suffering. You know, Lord as well, I, uh, I post a, a video that's going to um, show implication on that, but back to these FEMA barges. You know, you got to be a motherfucking fool to go get on a, a ship that looked like a prison. You, you basically ask him to go to jail on, on the river, on the water. It's like it's like a, a floating Alcatraz. The the one of the best things about Alcatraz is it was on an island. So even if you so called get off or escape, you in you in the water. You you can't cross that uh that tough water. Because uh over in San Francisco in that bay, um it's tough water that goes through there, um Underneath that, that uh, the, the the bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. That's why, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of controversy on whether those people really escaped from Alcatraz or not. But, you know, we're not going to get on that. Back to these barges. You got to be a plum fucking fool. But, uh, so the, the next scripture I wanted to get, which is, um, Isaiah... Isaiah 59, and this is verse 19. Verse 19. So they should fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising sun, from the rising of the sun, and the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. That's what they're planning to do, man. They're planning to come in like a flood, like like a, a flood is an uncontrollable water or wave that is a force, the overwhelming force. They got all these laws set up, all these statues, all these troops, uh, Homeland Security, FEMA, National Guard, Army, Marines, you, you, you name it, they got it. That's an overwhelming force. Who have been who have been trained for these situations? If you're not training for this situation mentally in your mind and and in and, and in the spirit, you're not gonna be ready for this, man. That's why I said this: the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard against them, because only the Lord is gonna be able to beat this flood that's gonna come in. Okay. Pookie and Ray Ray down the block with the AK can't fuck with uh, Esau and the government. Only a Habashim Shai is going to be able to help you on that day. And if you ain't got him, you might as well be uh, a fucking two-third. Well, you are a fucking two-third, but if you ain't got him, then nigga, you ain't got no hope. That's where our hope lies in your Habashim Shai. We read in in in, uh, in Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter, and this is the uh, the the seventeenth verse. It says, "A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall fall. Uh, the city the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Grown men, grown men shall be afraid." What you gonna be afraid of? You're gonna be afraid of your neighbor. You're gonna be afraid of anybody. Because why? You're afraid that they're gonna do you harm. Because nobody's gonna have uh goodwill says um 
Ah, I, I can't remember how the how the scripture goes, but um, nobody's gonna have pity upon you in those days, man. Ain't nobody gonna care what you and your daughter or your son and child ate the past three days. Cause they worrying about what they gonna eat for the next three days. They don't care if you got clean drinking water. Ain't nobody going to care in those days. So you got to spiritually prepare yourself now for those days. And if you ain't uh, going through those motions, getting yourself mentally, physically, spiritually prepared, then man, then you don't deserve salvation. If you ain't putting in the work now, that's like, you know, if you if you training for, for the combine in the NFL, you know, if you ain't putting in that work, when the scouts come to see you, why the fuck should they draft you? If you ain't putting in the work right now, and the angels are recording everything, then why the fuck should Yahweh Bashim Yashai come save you? But if he see you uh, diligently studying, doing lessons, you on the highways, you know, you talk to people when you when they ask you questions. What you do? What you doing out there? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm reading the Bible. You know, or uh, uh, you see somebody who who might be you know a so-called good candidate for the truth or whatnot, and you know you try to break things down to them. You know what I'm saying? Whether they hear, or whether they forbear, those are the, the 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 characteristics of a man who's looking to get salvation, who's looking to get the fuck out this place. We don't give a fuck what's going to happen uh, next next week, next month, next year. We're trying to get out this place. We want that to happen right now. Our eye is single towards the kingdom. And with that being said, you know, call all your Habba Shem Yashai, Devil Adams to the Apostles and Elders of DMS, Salute and Honor Select, all the brothers across the four corners to endure in truth and sincerity and the women and children follow. Shalom.